Happy Easter, everybody. About to get out. I got some things I got to do. Got some lunches, and I got a few more things I got to hand out. Let's get to it. I'll be back in a minute. Hey, buddy. How you doing, man? Oh, it could be better. I hey, be where, out here. Where, were you standing down at the? Yeah, yeah I drove ago. by. A, I drove by a couple weeks ago. You were living in your car here in the parking yeah. lot. Hey, let me offer you water, man. Hey, thank hey, you. You want a sandwich? I, I got some. I got some, uh, all kinds uh, of food. No, I just ate. No. Just ate. Okay. Yeah, I'm just trying to make, raise a little bit of money for over the weekend. Yeah, I don't really do any things with cash. I understand. But I can offer, uh, you know, some. Hygiene items, you know, personal hygiene stuff. You need I've any? I got all kinds of that. Yeah. Yeah, from other people. Okay. So I've been giving it away for what's overabundant, you know. Are you sure you don't people. want a lunch to save for later? Positive. Okay. Yeah. All right. I thought I'd stop. I saw you there. So obviously, you don't really have much plans for Easter, I wouldn't guess. No. Let me give you one of my cards just for the okay. sake of argument. Just because I didn't get a chance to you last time because I was blocking traffic. I understand. I got my phone. I got to put it in the other pocket. Okay. No, it's blocking my stuff. Yeah. There you go. Okay, yeah, I just got a YouTube great. thing. You know, I go out and, you know, the name of the channel is What If This Was You. And my email's right underneath. Oh, but, uh, nice. yeah, I just help people out. Okay. So it's been about seven, seven, eight months, somewhere in there. But, uh, all right. Great. I appreciate well, you well, I'll, stopping. Yeah, I'll, I'll let you go to your... What, what was your name again? JD. JD? Okay, I'm yeah. Daryl. Nice to meet you, buddy. Daryl? Yeah. Yeah. All right, next time I come by, I'll see what I can help you out. You know, I've seen, right. I've seen you down there a couple times. Yeah, the uh, police say it's better to try a parking area uh, versus interrupting with the flow of traffic. Huh. So that's what I did. I came up here, you know. I wonder if it'd be best maybe at the end where they would have to stop because here they can just roll right on by you. Well, yeah, but those that you sometimes when they do stop, if there's no uh, traffic behind them, they back up to me. You know? Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. You get, yeah are, are you getting a lot of help? People. I mean, uh, a lot of people. Not yeah. um, as expected, you know, but it, it is what it is. So you just right. did. You just have, you, yeah, you, well, you got no choice. Yeah. You know, what would you say percentage wise? You know, one in 10? Uh, or, or worse? Uh, uh, three, four people out of ten. Oh well, that's 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 pretty yeah. high return. Yeah, you it's know. not too bad. You know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's going straight. So, yeah. Oh, they finally cut that tree down. It fell over and it was laying across the top of that that wall oh, right okay. there. Yeah. yeah, I see that. Yeah, it was. I mean, the branches were in the parking lot. Oh, I believe it. it was a big tree. I see it uprooted. I think we had Same that. Same with the one over there when you turn left to go down to 411. It was out in the, the, the drive area. Oh, wow, no way. It wasn't long, and maybe 16, 18 feet. No, yeah, it's still pretty good size. Yeah. You know, no doubt. I wouldn't want it to fall on me. <laughs> That's for sure. You know, or on my car. Yeah. Right. But, uh, well, all right. Anybody giving you any trouble? No, not at all. Good deal, good deal. Yeah. All right, well, that's something to look at least you got going on your side. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that's true. Right. You got clothes and everything? I mean, everything's yeah. good? All right. You know, I, um, when I was capable of work, I did very well back then. So yeah. uh, I got an abundance of clothing. Um, kind of a stockpile, so to speak. Well, basically, if something gets uh, ruined or holy, then I toss it out and go back and get another one. Yeah. You know? So you, where you say you were, you were staying? You had a truck? Yeah, I do now. It's a black one sitting over there. Okay. Near the tree. All right. Just kind of hanging out. I sold my car. Yeah. And uh, um, turned around and bought that truck. But it's um, basically I'm pouring money into it for whatever goes wrong. And yeah. what I noticed, you know, at the time. What a... I think when I first saw you, it's been, I don't know, six weeks or so? What, you've been out, okay. what, a couple months? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I, I remember you saying, you know, it's a real, it was pretty recent when you were, you know, right. you know, put in your situation. Yeah. And that sucks, dude. Uh, well, yeah, you know, it was unexpected to, to have that happen, but, you know, it's uh, 
just the circumstance I, I deal with, you know. Sure, sure. So I'm still trying to find a place to live, but it, it's hard because uh, the the waiting list for low income people is astronomical. It sure is. Yeah, I, I, I can. It, I know that much. It's yeah. anywhere from uh, four to six years wait period in this area. Well, yeah. I didn't think it was that long. Well, we, whether you're in um, Dalton. Um, Murray County, Cobb County, Douglas County. Any of the surrounding yeah. areas, really. Okay. Have you been getting much help from, like, the, you know, any government agency or anything? Well, no. I've been going in circles with them. Really? Because of the, the fact of the, the so many people are needing the uh, living aspect. Right. As far as a roof over their head. That um, They probably give the priority to people with children and you know families that type well, of thing that and um uh people that don't actually uh need the, the help because they're they're capable of working huh yeah they uh, abuse the system are you receiving any type of financial help from the government i get, I get ssi okay but uh it's uh, uh caused me to live below the poverty level sure yeah, it's so not. I, it's I, it's it helps, but it's not. It's not all that in a bag right. of chips. You know, I got yeah, you. you. The the income you get is um, quite a bit less than what's required to actually rent the place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, plus rent has skyrocketed. Yeah, it, 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 it it's just crazy. I remember you can get apartments four hundred bucks a month, two bedroom, no right. problem. Yeah, and signs everywhere. You know, uh -huh. you know. Now it's like eight hundred dollars one room. Right. You know, it's like what. You know? Yeah, eight hundred dollars or more. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that was being kind. And I mean, when we're, we're not talking nice places either, right? You know what I mean? I've seen a few of them, and they're like, "Wow, I wouldn't, I couldn't do it." But these landlords are saying, uh, "Hmm, how can I pillage the community?" Right? You know, in my opinion. Yeah, the, the motels are, are just. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, my my buddy was telling me it's four hundred and something dollars a week here in this town. The, the percentage of the, the motels, well, there's only what one, two, three, four, five motels in the area, and uh, they're not um, keeping the maintenance up on it, so they're all falling apart. Really? Oh yeah. That's that's. Budget no is good. the worst that I've seen. Are you talking about the one down here on 411? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the last one on the right. Yeah, side. I know what you're talking about. I knew a few couple of people that were staying in the in the corner. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was helping them out for a while. And this one here across the street, the maintenance on it hasn't been kept up. No. You've got uh, ceilings that look like they're gonna fall in. Really? Yeah. yeah Water damage or? Yeah, from the the area up above. Wow. <laughs> yeah. That looks pretty nice on the outside, but that doesn't mean much. Right. You know. Yeah, it's just a cover. That's all. It is. <laughs> yeah. It's a a, a a a pig with lipstick, <laughs> it, so to speak. I remember hearing that back in the day, and I had to laugh when I. You know, oh, good. You know, you can you can put a pig on a lipstick on a pig, but it doesn't make it any cleaner or something. You right. know. But uh, putting a bandaid over the situation. Yeah. All right, JD, man. I, I hope you get through. I'll see what I can do next time I see you when I come okay. by. I just had to stop at Food City and get some. I get to get a ham. All for, right. You know, for Very the recent, yeah, right. yeah. Doctor's orders. Uh, my mom. You know, oh, okay. Like, Go get me a ham. It's like all right. <laughs> so, hey, hey, no problem. You know, don't uh, don't put me in the oven. Right. All right, man. Yeah, no kidding. Thank you. Well, hey, I'll let you get back to your business, sir. Right. Happy Easter to you Happy anyway. Easter so, you. okay, if I run into you again, we'll see what we can do. Okay. All right, buddy. Yep, you too. Man, what a, what a nice guy. Yeah, I've seen him a couple times. He was standing over here where traffic, traffic is. It was where uh, he got to stop to make a right turn. Here. Whoop. It's not far at all. But uh, anyways, I guess the police said, hey, not a good idea. But uh, all right, we're going to shut down. Be back in a minute.